This is what the church has looked like for most of 2020. I believe 2021 is a historic moment for the church. The Lord is regathering, he's re-envisioning, he's re-empowering us, his church, to reach out. In Zechariah chapter two, verses one to five, the Lord gives Zechariah a vision of two angels measuring out the length and breadth of Jerusalem. We've been through a measuring, a sort of testing season, but they say this is because Jerusalem will be a city without walls. Such will be the large number of people within it. We are now a church without walls. And I believe 2021 will see a huge harvest for us. Since Alpha started in 1990, it's estimated that over 25 million people have done Alpha in over 100 countries in over 100 languages. In 2020, along with many other parts of church life, Alpha transitioned online. At a time when it was hard for people to meet physically, the Lord used the digital space to reach more people than we ever imagined possible. I never thought that running Alpha Online would work. Really, a lot of doubt came up and uh, online, well, Alpha in church is very nice. We can interact and we have a lot of bonding, but I was very, very wrong. During our Alpha sessions, not only did our usual member turns up, we are seeing even more on the Alpha Online. I'm just glad to see that the church can still evangelize because this shows that even if dark forces prevents us, God enables us and He prevails in all things. Why don't you use this anointed tool of Alpha for evangelism, to reach out with the good news and the hope of Jesus to so many people out there that want the space to be able to process what they've been through, to ask the big questions of life about meaning, suffering and, and purpose, and to do all of that in genuine relationship in the Alpha small groups. On MCO though, life was pretty much mundane because everything was stagnant. My job, my dreams, my goals and my do's and don'ts, my wantings, everything was just stagnant and I was a little bit in a struggle, like I must say. And that's when I got introduced to Alpha. I really enjoyed all of the sessions. I met a lot of new faces each time. I really enjoyed uh, the whole ambience because everything was pretty much uh, warm and uh, welcoming. During the weekend away, there was a point where we started praying for each other. I felt like I had some sort of a different vibe to it. Like I felt a presence of something, but I couldn't describe what it was. It's just that at that point of time, it felt good. It made me feel warm, made me feel very comfortable to actually speak my mind. It was really to the heart and I felt the sincerity in the prayers as well. And for the first time, I was doing it for another person. So I felt different and I liked the differences. ชอบที่อัลฟาทําให้เรารู้จักพระเจ้าได้ง่ายขึ้นครับ <coughs> now you could run alpha again perhaps face to face if your SOPs allow or you could run it digitally with Alpha Online, or as we're planning to do, you might even run a hybrid Alpha. Uh, we're gonna have, let's say, 20 small groups on Alpha, 10 will meet in the building, 10 will be Alpha Online. However you do it, let's seize this moment. Nikki Gumbel, the pioneer of Alpha, said that COVID-19 is a horrible disease, but God can use awful things. He did that with the cross. He took the most horrible event in history, crucifixion of the Son of God and he used it for the salvation of the whole world and one way in which he's using this disease is to get people's attention 
Now is not the moment for the church to retreat, but for the kingdom of God to advance. So in 2021, whether you've run Alpha before or whether you've never run it before, why don't we all use this tool to reach out with the good news, to see the kingdom advance, and let's do it together.